Okay. Jason just got back from skiing, but as usual, until I as tell usual. him to take Dude, videos of it. so put together that I'm just not in the habit of, of helping your wife with this YouTube no channel. wants to see me skiing? Yes, it would have been cool. We did some good runs. Anyway, there. that's how I spent my Valentine's Day with him skiing. Gone. Gone. Did you show them the beautiful note I left you? Yeah, I'll show them here in a second. You have a surprise you want to show us, you're and not, then I'll come. You're not supposed to give me a surprise. Like, I wasn't supposed to give you a surprise. I didn't get you a surprise. <laughs> You're showing oh. them, you got them surprises. Yes, yeah, come check out the surprise. Not, not me. Okay. I got you a surprise already. Uh, it, kind of. <laughs> okay, you want to see the surprise? Yeah. What are you wearing? Oh, Dad, that's Dad's hat. Here, I'll show the surprise he got for the girls oh, right this here. Is this is Ashley's. This is Ashley's little. My snuggle bug. Um, I'll keep the cute little message he sent to her. A little private. A little ones? sneak peek. He wrote each of the girls a little note and had them all here on the counter. Mm -hmm. And then a little bag of chocolate covered gummy bears, right? Uh, you already uh, ate yours, or do you still have it? I have them. Okay, Dad really wants to show us this surprise. Let's go. Okay. Can you tell what it is? Another bean bag. That's huge. No, it's a pillow one. Like, it's, it's, it, like the mattress in there can somehow. They pull can't it see out. the lights going in the wrong direction. So, hurry, pull it out. Well, it's going to take. You pulling it out is what it's. You got it into the car by yourself. It took two of us to get it in here. Yeah, to get it in it doesn't take two to get it out. Oh, look at that! You're manly. Is it even gonna go through the door? It's <laughs> not. The mattress in here is literally like a queen size mattress. Yes. But it's a super hard thing to get put back in. But there's instructions online. That's, I don't think we should take it apart. This is a genuine, uh, bed. Bed. boys or something? I don't know. But well, look at this thing. I am down. looking Lay at that. On the left I don't, there. like, I don't even understand. Like, you can't even, like, sit on it. Yeah, it is. You can't even sit on it. I don't understand. Yeah, you can can't. totally sit on it. No, you can't. Where can you sit on it? It's There's too big. <laughs> yeah, but you, like. No, no, it dents. It dents. Here, Dent watch. it then. Yeah. If you want, you can just chill. This is like <laughs> yeah, that's working no, out you well for you. It. It's awesome. We'll just we'll like put it up there for a little bit, but then you can take this off, and you got a big old mattress. But it's a pain in the butt to put back in. So there's a video on it. But anyways, the kid, this is what we wanted for Christmas. It couldn't find, and it's because you asked on Christmas Eve. No, I know. That's fine. Yeah, that's how well prepared he is. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think of good ideas late sometimes. But, uh, Kristen. No, that, no truer words have Kristen ever been said. Kristen doesn't come to him until the end. Kristen Gave it. is the one that was like, yes, she's I know. giving this to the girls. Yes. So it's awesome. So you're going to have to send a little message to your aunt and tell her thank you. <laughs> See? It's awesome. <laughs> that was really funny. So I'll take a little... Uh, Here's Abby's reaction. Oh, Kristen texted me about it. Oh, you already knew? <laughs> Anticlimactic. Well, she sent me a picture, but she scribbled it out, but I could still kind of see it. What do you mean she scribbled it out? I can show you the picture. All right, whatever. Okay, I just barely got ready for the day, and it's like 4 o'clock. <laughs> Almost 4 o'clock. Uh, so I will show you the cute little note that Jason left me. He knows that this idea didn't happen on his own. That's all I'm gonna say. It was not his idea. And yes, I did say I didn't want him to do anything for Valentine's Day. It hit a little bit harder when he put a lot more effort into the girls' Valentine's. That's all I'm gonna say. He's gonna watch this. And yes, that is all I said to do, but that doesn't mean you don't tell your wife Happy Valentine's Day. That's, that's all I'm going to say. So let me show you the cute little note that he left for me. All right, first of all, he went and got these snacks. I don't know when, because <laughs> again, he thought of this very last minute. So he probably did it late last night. <laughs> it is what it is, and I have these in the cupboard. It's okay. Dana, you are the only one I think of to make our dreams come true. I love all that is us. You have, you have all the you I don't even know you have all the of my all the pieces oh I get it now you have all the pieces of my heart he crossed out the R <laughs> right there to 
took me a second to remember what that one was. And then a cute little note there. Okay, I want Kaylee to show what Jacob did. He did good. Got mm -hmm. her some flowers and a rose. They're cute. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take them up to your room? Yeah. Cool. Good job, Jacob. And food. <laughs> yes, that's the way to your guys' hearts is food. Yes, it is. Happy Valentine's Day, kiddo. You wanna show them your Valentine? You got a little cupcake and a minion. Like All third graders do it, right? Well, some don't. Oh, they don't? Well, All of my kids have done a minion box in third grade, which yeah. is kind of fun. And then you have Valentine's through here, Yeah. right? Maybe later you can kind of show me your favorite after you go through them, okay? Dad and I have to run errands really quick. Um, can you not eat all the candy? This is a chocolate strawberry. Ooh, are you gonna give it to me? No. Can I have a bite? Oh. oh, you can have it, it's okay. But you got, I guess that counts as a fruit, right? Yeah. Show, them, show them what that looks like. That one. That one looks so good. Okay, you gotta eat some fruit with that, okay? Okay. And a milk, and maybe something else with it. Okay. All right, we're gonna run some errands really quick. I wanted to do a fun video with you today, but it's four o'clock, not like one or two. Like I thought you were gonna be home, so. We had fun skiing, it was better skiing. Yeah. How was that Valentine's Day? It's fabulous. Mm -hmm. yeah, that how might was be your, how you. How was your lovely night? That might be how you spend it um, single. Single. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> no words. <All> right. <laughs> no words. In my day, I was spent editing the video about our business. What would you have liked to have done? Well, you, it didn't exist, so it doesn't matter. Oh, please. So, we do need to run some errands. I don't need a ton of stuff at Costco, but um, it is worth going. I'll and give you a pole dance tonight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you seriously just say that? <laughs> So wrong on so many levels. What, you don't think I can pull that? That's oh my gosh, stop the conversation. That is sexist time. Stop the conversation right now. <laughs> All right, we've got Jason to be quiet about what he was talking about. But it was funny because when Kaylee came home from school, her and Jacob came and he had run to the store on their way home and he'd gotten her some dinner. And it's just kind of what they do. but. She was like, man, the store today was like packed with men and they're all just standing around the flowers like, we don't know what to do. I don't know what one to get. And uh, I don't know. I mean, she said it was like hilarious. hilarious. Like, and she's like, men are literally talking out loud to themselves. I don't know what to get. I don't know what to do. I'm like, should I get this one? <laughs> I was like, welcome. Welcome to the world of last minuteers. Those are men going home from work. And if they don't show up without something, they're screwed they're screwed so we are headed to the dollar store today right now yeah, that's one of my joke, errands you won't you don't you don't have a place to make a joke well so, I did mine mm -hmm. early I had it all laid out for you so we can share a story at the end of this I will share a story what he did in college that why do you gotta go there dude because the ladies will like it they'll be on my side the battery is dying I gotta change that we're going to the dollar store because my activity for Ashley's church class Sorry about that, battery died. <laughs> so we are doing an activity um, for the girls tomorrow night and we're gonna do a spa night, but we are gonna focus on our personal hygiene and have a personal responsibility for our bodies and keeping them clean. So we're gonna, you know, kind of, it's more of a conversation. You know, how often should we take a shower every week, you know? And they're then- younger kids. Yeah, they're younger. It's just a basic conversation. Cool puberty thing no they're young they're only nine ten years old anyway and then we're gonna do our nails so I'm gonna try and find a little nail kit with like clippers and like a nail file and then a little bottle of nail polish to give each of the girls there's eight of them so it's pretty affordable and the church pays for it so it's all good no, it's fun. but it's I try and make it as affordable as I can even if the church is paying for it because our budgets are pretty small every month um, but I think it'll be fun and it's kind of like this cute little post Valentine's Day activity um, I missed last week's activity because we were still in like COVID I wanted to be careful and safe so not last week the week before it's been two weeks so Let's, he is kind of funny in dollar stores, so I will, 
he gets he's like what they sell this at the dollar store so i'll get any reactions that i can if <laughs> there's anything in there that's kind of funny <laughs> what did you just say remember we were here before i know what did you just say i said i didn't realize everything was a dollar before now it's a he dollar still 25. doesn't yeah he still is like, still can't 25, believe he, right, he's right. like i still can't believe everything's only a dollar this is this i is, did i just thought dollar tree meant like we round it and it's low and it's cheap i didn't realize it was physically actually a dollar this is why it's fun to bring him to the dollar store not so much some other stores but the dollar store is actually kind of funny because he he'll pick up everything really like this is this is only a dollar it's fun okay so we picked out some colors I got two pinks that are the same and then one bright pink one. So I just think they'll have a lot to choose from. Okay, then we found these cute little nail kits. It has a nail clippers and a little file and then, I can't even tell, there's two little files and then probably poker cuticle things. poker and little scissors. So those are cute little kits. Okay, then I found little nail files and I just need eight of them. And I'll just open these up and put one of them in each each bag okay then I found some cotton balls in case they have nail polish on and I need some myself I'm just gonna let them use that um, and then what else did I have nail polish remover here somewhere be able to take that in case they have nail polish on and then I got the nail files I showed you this is Abby's and then this is myself I have been wanting these basket bags remember how I got them at Christmas time and they were the wrong size and so this is for myself for the future. I know I will use those. They never have them. And then I also found these cute bath bombs. Just to remind them to relax, take a bath. Look at these. How cute is that? Adorbs. Adorbs. Look, a rainbow. I wanted to get more rainbow ones, but they didn't have any more. So those are cute. Look, Jason found the quarter you need to buy something at the dollar store now. It's yeah. the dollar 25 store. I was store. walking, it was shiny, and I was just like, boat. Well, okay, so I was putting this bag in so it didn't roll around and I forgot that I actually <laughs> did get my man a Valentine. No, I think you, no, I it's, think you forgot. Why was it hidden? I think you're just making it up. To try why to is it hidden? We don't put the Costco groceries in there. I hid it so that you didn't so, get it. So I went to Costco a week ago. You forgot about it. I so, put it in there to hide it. Your love for me, you just forgot about it. <laughs> All right, so we just went and got Cafe Rio for me and for Jason. And then we're gonna stop and get Abby some Subway. And Chelsea and Ashley <laughs> can just eat from home tonight. Um, I just didn't feel like and cooking. And Kaylee ate. Jacob got her um, lunch, dinner, whatever you wanna call it after school. And uh, oh, that was her groceries in the back. So we just ran into a friend of ours from church and she had all of her kids there. And I was like, like <laughs> she was like, yeah. Plans changed today, and now my husband's not coming home from work until way late. And she's like, screw it, I'm taking everyone to Cafe Rio. She's like, I'm not cooking. I thought I was going out for dinner. I thought I was going out for Valentine's Day. Go ahead, you have her order. Yeah. Abby? Yeah. Anyway, it was cute, because one of her girls is in the activity class with Ashley, and she just scampered over the little booth, and she came over, and she was, um, she was, well, so, just a reference. We call each other sister and brother, like by our last name like sister hat sister brown brother brown when we're talking about like respect re respectful titles at church or whatever and so she scampered over and she's like sister brown i have a question about activity days and i was like okay what's your act what's your question she's like what is it going to be tomorrow night <laughs> she's so excited and it's so cute to see her be all happy and excited to go to these activities and so i got to tell her I was like, I just bought everything, and she, her eyes got bigger and bigger every time I told her what we were gonna do, and she was like, I'm so excited. And I told her, I said, you keep it quiet, like you don't know what I have, or no one else knows what I have, so you have to kind of keep it a secret until you get to the activity tomorrow night. And so she was like, ooh, I get to like have the information. And it was just kind of cute to um, talk to her and stuff. But um, anyway, we're gonna go home and have dinner. How did you guys spend your Valentine's Day? Do you have like high expectations or do you kind of just go with it? If you've been married for a long time or maybe you're not married and you don't celebrate it or put more into it for your kids. You know, I think it was nice of Jason to like give the girls a Valentine to teach them how they should be treated. Whether it's by a spouse, a boyfriend, friends, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's a loving holiday. So I don't think you have to be 
you know, doing something necessarily just for a spouse. Um, you can do it for your sister or your brother or your parents or anyway. Also, it, it's funny. I keep watching on TikTok and they're like, this is like the worst Valentine's Day because not only is it the day after a Super Bowl, it is the day after a full moon. It is a Monday and what was the last thing? And it's like, be nice to teachers. <laughs> be nice to teachers today. They have the worst end of it, like the worst. So kudos for them today to be able to deal with, you know, having it be Valentine's Day. We're gonna go home and eat our dinner and then we might call it a night because nothing else is happening today for Valentine's Day. And um, Ashley did like the little bean bag that we got. She's like, it's bigger than me. <laughs> It is. I think it's literally taller than her. I'll we'll have to like check it when we get home and see if it is actually taller than her. Okay, Ashley just helped me put our little kits together. So we show them all together what's in their little kit. Oh, Alright, well I got this one here. Okay. Okay. So we have a nail file. We have one extra nail file. So we have a nail file. Bath bomb. A bath bomb. A nail clipper set. A nail polish. And some cotton balls. <laughs> and? I figured if the girls have nail polish on when they get there, then they have their own little um, cotton ball ready to use. We don't have to hand them out. Because I think I saw people at church with it. Yeah. And then a lollipop. Right? Then I thought I would bring like some paper bowls and put some water, warm water in each bowl. And they can kind of soak, and with some little soap. And they can soak their fingers and kind of get their cuticles. And then wipe them off. And then, you know, take off their nail polish. And then they can just learn how to like file it themselves and then we'll do their nails and talk about hygiene and all that kind of stuff. I think it'll be really fun, don't you think? Yes? So today she was like, I'm never gonna not know what the activity is. And I was like, well, I didn't have to tell you what this one is. Do you want me to keep it a secret next time? And she's like, no, I don't think I could, I could keep it a secret. <laughs> like, well, you, someone called me? Do not. All right, well, anyway, we're gonna, I've got a whole mess here. Um, I gotta get things cleaned up and ready for the evening. We ran errands really late in the day, so I'm kind of thinking it's like three o'clock and it's not, it's like seven o'clock. Ashley, can you go get a Target bag and go ahead and put all these bags inside it and go put it in the laundry room, okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna end this video with you guys. We have everything packaged up for Ashley's little activity tomorrow night. I have created the cutest <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is that? It's this. Uh, let me show you without some of the information. I created this really cute invitation for the girls just because we usually need to get the information to the parents. And I thought, you know what? Let's just make a cute little invite. Hey, can you not turn off all my lights, babe? Can you turn the lights back on? Because I'm still trying to film this. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. All right, here's the cute little invitation that I made. I just found a little image and spa night. So. I thought that was kind of cute. And come and learn about personal hygiene and get some colorful nails. So anyway, I'm about to send that text message out to the moms and be ready for tomorrow's activity. And Valentine's is now over and I'm just waiting for my shows to come back on TV. <laughs> as much as I like to watch the Olympics, I want my regular shows back on. Just be able to relax at night. But I've gotta to go to bed early tonight, like earlier than like falling asleep at 1 a.m. <laughs> because we have to take Jason down tomorrow morning to get a rental car. So he called today on at the car place and, they, and he's like, hey, I'm just wondering when my car will be done. And they're like, oh, we just took it all apart today. So maybe Friday. It's Monday. I can't be without my car all week long. And his dad, just probably two months ago, um, totaled his second car. That was always our car for all of the families to use as like a backup whenever we had like car repairs. And he's like, I don't have a second car for anyone to use anymore. And I'm like, no. So I had to take him down to the car rental place and get a car and uh, I wish insurance would pay for that, but I don't think that they will. But so I'm gonna get to bed early tonight and uh, be able to wake up crack of dawn to go take him down. So I hope you guys enjoyed your Valentine's. Mine was a little untraditional, but it, 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 was, a, it was a fun night hanging out with Jason and I got a lot done today during the day. So take care and we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.